Uh, good evening. I worked in University of Puerto Rico for five years, from 2006 to 2011. Uh, before I moved to University of Puerto Rico, I never see or touch the GPS receiver or antenna. Uh, so I will show you the story. How did the electrical support the people know nothing about the GPS? So this map shows the location of the Puerto Rico is here. This is Puerto Rico at the Virgin Island GPS network. It is inside of the uh, cocoa lead footprint. Yeah, both cocoa lead and the PRVI network was supported by NSF. Currently, there yeah, we have 23 permanent stations that the data are archived at the ULF core at course. At course. You, NSF support the MRI project. We installed 15 uh, per GPS stations. I'm the P, I was the PI. So this is our Mola Island. We have five uh, sensors. Strong motion, broadband, and weather sensor, and one target, and one GPS. Mola is between Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. This GPS is co-located uh, with the uh, target. It was designed for sea level monitoring and the tsunami early warning. Uh, this was in fact funded by my uh, career project. Uh, this, uh, in fact, this, uh, is, this was my first GPS station. It was installed in a public um, tourist place, Bayamo Sands Park. It's a perfect site for public at K-12 education, but it uh, is the worst uh, seismic station. So all of our NSF station were installed by NSF engineers. Data are archived at the ULF core. So currently, the Puerto Rico seismic network is operating this GPS network. This ever, this, okay. So I use this station to study landslide. Puerto Rico is a great place to study landslide. Landslide is the number one geological hazard. It is a disaster. Okay, we tried um, real-time landslide morning and real-time landslide morning, and also post-process. I tried to uh, use the single-base network solution. Anyway, GPS is a perfect tool to study landslide. With one or two years, you will have a result. We monitored the one landslide in Ponce. It's an urban landslide. Uh, we installed a reference station here. We installed a, a rubber station here. So these are our field stations. The distance uh, from the baseline is only 100 meters. We installed many benchmarks, tried to identify the boundary of this landslide, and figure out the landslide movement. Many undergraduates in were involved in data collection. They like field work. They collect data. This landslide moved rapidly in the summer of 2008. You can see, so we just brought students to the field. They can see the dynamic of this landslide. They collect data. So we have Jim Joyce, so he helped me a lot. We always install a weather sensor at the landslide site. You can see this rainfall recorded by this weather sensor. This rapid slide was caused by storm. Yeah, so weather sensor in, in provide many information for us. This is thermal effect. So we sh I show you the sub-millimeter accuracy GPS. Thermal effect, temperature change, your building will change. Light day, light day. It's one, one hour, one solution. OK, uh, we also monitored the large landslide. It's in the Air UK Rainforest uh, National Park. We use uh, both GPS and TLS. Both were supported by ULEFCO. Uh, many students have been involved. So this uh, results uh, from two-time TLS differential. You can see the boundary of this landslide, the two-time differential. We installed uh, two. GPS on this landslide, you can see this, the, the unit is centimeter, five meters. Okay, we always bro brought our students to the field to teach them about the landslide, to try to help make them busy. Yeah, collect data, they always ask questions, they pretend they know nothing, or sometimes they pretend they know everything. So this project uh, was called the landslide repair and uh, permanent slide rotation. One of our students said, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're smart. Yeah, they're smart. Yeah, this is a DOT project, you know, DOT. OK, this is the RGS uh, velocity vector in RGS08 at N1883. We like this, but we cannot uh, study some say one millimeter, half a millimeter per year. So we try to establish a stable Puerto Rico at Virgin Island uh, reference frame. With this stable reference frame, we can figure out some say one millimeter, half a millimeter 
This shows that the virtual islet moves 1.8 millimeter per year, referred to the stable reference frame. Hey, thank you.